Please do not be a grammar jerk. Please don't be a grammar jerk. Please do not be a grammar jerk. Please don't be a grammar jerk. Does having good grammar give you the illusion that you are better than others? That is a delusion. As long as we can understand what is being said, there is no need to correct grammar. Listen instead. If you're more concerned with grammar than with the gist of what someone is saying, and you lecture them on grammar rules you think need obeying, you will miss out on opportunities to learn and grow. Life is about more than explaining grammar we know. Correcting someone's grammar is a sad game to play. Because your actions may result in someone deciding not to say what is on their mind. Because you'll just correct them once more. Let's foster a gentle environment so people feel heard and cared for. Not everyone has the chance to spend much time out of school. Many are working at oppressive jobs while we play in a pool. Please let go of your desire to feel superior. Stop trying to make anyone feel inferior. What comes from the heart goes to the heart if you pay close attention to the essence of the message and the person's intention. Focus on the message and you'll know what someone's point is. Even if they aren't in your opinion and grammar whiz. All languages are made up and they all change over time. Into the mind of another, languages help us to climb. Embrace the beauty of languages regardless of the form. Listen to people who speak in a way that is far outside your norm. Please do not be a grammar jerk. Please don't be a grammar jerk. Please do not be a grammar jerk. Please don't be a grammar jerk. There are many terrible consequences to being a grammar jerk. People get rejected for housing or rejected for work. Just because of perceived grammar errors during a phone call. Grammar mistakes on a resume means no call back at all. It's just a way to keep the privileged people in power by giving gatekeepers an easy way to let certain people up the tower. On your resume, you used an incorrect punctuation mark. So no paying your bills and you were left in the cold and dark. Look at this thread on the internet, many comments we can see. You chose a laugh emoticon because you found it funny that someone spelled the word differently than you were taught in school. You ignored the heart of what they said and said called them a fool. While you laughed at the spelling mistake, others read with an open mind. And to, oh, what wisdom in this heartfelt comment they did find. You walked away from this thread, grinning and feeling better than they. But you missed out on learning, too preoccupied with the rules you obey. If you're not sure what someone is saying, ask questions to clarify. Never do so in a mocking way, kindness we personify. If someone asks for grammar tips, by all means help them out. Grammar helps us communicate clearly, so our message is not in doubt. But if someone's not asking for grammar tips and you understood what they said, then keep those grammar rules to yourself, we'll all come out ahead. We can make a world where everybody feels appreciated and protected. When you share your truth, it feels great to be heard rather than corrected.